Hello, hello, how are you? This is another video of Spanish Miguel. This is Miguel and I'm going to write in the description what about the video. This is going to be a so short video and I'm going to talk about the differences between ñ which is not included in another alphabet and the J, la I or the Y in English. So uh, I'm going to recommend you to subscribe in the in the in into my channel if you like the culture, the idioms, and the Spanish, the the languages. I mean, so uh, the thing is like this. This video is going to me is it's going to be a little a little video because I'm just going to speak about this difference that I spoke recently. So the thing is like this. The ñ. I don't know how to say it in another language. Maybe I don't know how to say it in English or in Portuguese or even in France uh, because it doesn't exist in other languages. So the ñ uh, sounds like ña ñe ñi ño ñu, and it's a little difficult for the people who doesn't speak. Spanish completely or who is trying to speak ling this language I mean the Spanish so I'm gonna repeat what about it is nya nie ni nyo new and look at my mouth nya nie ni nyo new it sounds something like if you were with a cold with a huge cold and your nose is closed something like a nasal nasal sound and uh, I'm going to recommend you to 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 practice it for example 10 seconds a day nya nye ni nyo new because it's something difficult especially if you speak Portuguese or if you speak English so this letter uh, compounds a lot of a lot of words and for example añoranza Añejar, año, the most important, and we say it at every time, año, something like in English, year, or in Portuguese, ano, ano, ano in, in Spanish is another, it's another word which is compound, which compounds our, our body. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop with the ñ, but I'm going to speak about the ye. The ye is the last one. Is the no, no, not the last one. The the before the last one. And uh, this is uh, something difficult to pronounce because people who uh, who learn English doesn't know how to say it at first, but practicing they are going to know how to do it and it's something like ja je ji jo ju there are another sounds like this with two l it sounds also ja je ji jo ju but i'm speaking about the j the 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 one before the last so it compounds for example in english it does it exists in english year yeah yet but in Spanish we use it also for example in ayer and uh, some another another word in Spanish doesn't come to my mind but I'm going to write it in the description so I'm sure that you are going to have it in mind and uh, I'm going to recommend you also for you to learn how to pronounce it I'm going to recommend you to say 10 seconds a day ja je ji jo ju it's not like ya ye i yo you it's not like this it's ja je ji jo ju so these are two letters that are some difficult to pronounce when you are trying to learn this language spanish so this is all the video i wanted to share with you uh, in this opportunity so I'm going to say goodbye. Please take care. Padawanes and Jedis, the peace on you. Goodbye.